markets run is that they are factories of financial products. They make financial products. They make them and then sell them. They're there to make money. They're not there. The law is secondary. And why do we know this? That's actually the definition of the word court, courtier. Bonds, securities, and bailments. So I'm not going to say any more than that other than read what's there, study that, but it's an offer. And ultimately, it's about negotiating the offer that you want. Have in your mind what you think is a fair deal. If you don't, you leave yourself open to failing on this. But if you think the best you can get out of them is a, is a 100 hours community service, then keep that in your mind and wait till the judge gets down to one year and a thousand year bond and say, well, how about 100 hours community service and uh, no record? All right? And you watch that judge. At the end of the day, his bond is for the value of the case, not for the value of the of the sentence. Well, there is a value in sentence, but at this point he's trying to save the, the value of the bonds of the case. Then that's what you go for. Now, that's not being tricky. That's not um, usurping the law. That's simply recognising that they lie to us about making money off us. They lie to us about trusts. And we are merely using the facts and the knowledge of their system. So I hope I answered those questions for you. Thanks. Thank you so much, Frank. All right. Thank you, West Michigan. Again, those of you that are on the phone lines, if you have a question and press star 8, it'll put you in the question and answer queue on the phone line. Uh, we have Maine. Maine, are you there? Hi there. It's Paula. Um, Hello. I listened quite a while back, and I had asked about social credit. And I haven't listened for a long time because I've been really busy. But I'm glad to hear you mention about the gold tonight. And it makes me think, you know, gold is something that somebody said one, at one time, long ago. You know, that's going to be what we're going to value our money system on or something like that. But really, it's just a, a metal, you know. And it makes you think, you know, we've been led to believe that this is the, uh, you know, it's, it's the center of our entire money system. and. Really, what I hear you say is that that's what I, you know, that's the answer to organize your community to be able to trade goods with each other in a way that uh, whatever happens in the rest of the country won't affect you. Absolutely. Well, this is the thing. We have an ability. But look, if people want to control things, someone asked a question in the chat there. If, if you know, if the U.S. Treasury issues gold back money, that does that mean a UKDA member can't use it? No, it doesn't. It just means that UKDA and everything throughout UKDA says that as far as we're concerned, gold is worthless and is not permitted to be used as a underwriting medium for money. But the, the point is this. You can use anything to underwrite a currency, but the best thing to underwrite a currency with is, is the right spirit, the right intent, the right uh, oath and truth and sweat equity. When you have those things, you have a true currency. Yeah? It means that when you spend a dollar, providing that the, the system does not create ones and zeros on the fly like their system, that every single unit of currency has been created respectfully, is tracked for its provenance, and cannot be destroyed, and you cannot create debt, and you cannot fractionalize it, then you have an uncorruptible medium of exchange. And do you know how much wealth people can generate with an uncorrupted medium of exchange in a very short period? It means that the energy in your community is not being stripped or lost through incompetence. It means that if you can get 10 people in your area just, just dealing with those goods and services that those 10 people have, the wealth that you can generate is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And pretty soon, if you can get, in fact, you only need about 10 to 12 people to start a trading group 
that you can be totally self-sufficient, totally, and immune from any of the games of these banks. Now, what we're going to do is show how that can be implemented very, very quickly. Because what I see with these parasites is that they are still find it impossible, like scorpions, to not sting the frog. They can't stop being what they are, which is people who are riddled with madness. So, yeah, we, I really want to see that ushered in. But in the meantime, the legal issues have taken precedence because I know a lot of you have got legal issues. Okay? Great. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Frank. <clears throat> I do have a question along those lines uh, here, Frank. Uh, how is one to deposit or withdraw from uh, the new currency or a new currency? Okay, great question. What we're going to do is we have the deeds of trust coming through, which are for the different states. When they come in play, we are looking to encourage uh, you all to... Uh, and, and no one is being, by the way, no one can be uh, um, anointed or appointed as spokespeople for a state. I have no right, and no one in UK there at all has a right to anoint anyone as the appointed leader, so-and-so, in a, in a state or province or a territory. But when those states are put in place, the reserve banks of the region uh, create a reserve bank of the society, the nation, and then reserve banks for each of those states. So each state has its own reserve bank. Now, in the short term, there will be a purchasing of currency through the use of PayPal and this will then be converted so that those facilities will be uh, encouraged at a local domestic level by each state so that there is a separate account managed by that separate reserve bank for the members of that state connected to the other reserve banks to permit the purchasing of currency through that state. So there's going to be a short-term centralised, then it'll go from centralised down to the grassroots. And that, that, I believe, is doable within the next four to five weeks. So that's the short answer to that. Okay, So great. you'll be able to... Yeah, yeah good. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Frank. Uh, we do have a question about the writs that you covered a little bit earlier. Um, Article 112 only describes the writs where can the actual writ documents themselves be found? The writs won't be available to be reviewed until they're up in the next probably five to six days, okay? Okay. And uh, so you're saying within about a week? Yes. Okay. All right. Great. That helps answer another question there is there. Uh, on the foreclosure question, how does one eliminate the argument of delinquency? Well, the argument of delinquency, which is central to them making the conveyance of the title by the clerk lawful or legal, both, uh, is that there is no evidence that you have even attempted or succeeded in making a consideration for rent. So the delinquency does not relate to at all your repayments. Your repayments have two components, the principal, which is the loan, the interest, which is the rent that you pay as a tenant. We're only concerned with the interest component of you as a tenant and making it clear in writing that any consideration is payment of rent, literally said payment of rent. So what a number of you have already proven is true. If you go to a bank and say, I wish to pay let's say the minimum is $21 a month, I wish to pay $21 a month uh, for each month in arrears of rent, the bank will refuse, refuse to accept your money. Extraordinary. Why? If they were to accept that, then they lose the reason that they can get you out of your home, which is you are a delinquent tenant. That means you go to a clerk. Now, when you go to a clerk and you've got uh, a statement of financial affairs which says you can't afford to pay. You've got a statement of rent each of the months in consideration. That is a renegotiation of a contract anyway. You have a check or cash, not a bank check. Don't do a bank check because if they refuse it, you basically, you know, uh, stuffed yourself up. So cash is probably better um, or, or a personal check if there's funds. 
Um, but when you go to a clerk and you attempt to pay that in, some clerks, and, and obviously they listen to these calls, so I think this will happen more and more, they will refuse to accept the deposit because they know if they accept it, then the clerk lawfully cannot convey the property over to the bank or whoever else. So that leaves uh, two other options. One, to establish an escrow account to show that the funds are held in escrow, which is something that we will be providing as a service when money is deposited into the reserve banks. The res one of the services of the reserve banks will be to providing escrow accounts for those that wish to prove funds have been made available for a repayment and the courts and the banks have refused. But the other is to make sure that you have an affidavit prepared for the clerk that if they refuse, the clerk sees that, that, that they must sign that they've refused consideration that would eliminate delinquency and therefore if they sign this, because they have to, is either accept the money or sign the affidavit, that they're admitting that they've obstructed justice and not permitted you to remove delinquency. So that's some key documents that we need to provide to you ASAP, and I'm sorry they're not there yet, to help on foreclosure. All right? Great. Yes. Thank you, Frank. Uh, we have uh, Zaiku on the line. Okay. You're unmuted. Do you have a question? A little operation. Katie, is, is there a... Uh... Hi. Are you there, Zaiku? Sorry. No, no, no. Okay. They're not listening. Uh, waiting again? Uh, yes, uh, I got a couple questions. Hi. Um, when you speak of the RI IRS, um, I'm, I'm from Canada. Would the uh, applicable body be the CRA in that case? Yeah, they're an agency of the IRS. That's right. In Canada, they're an agency of the IRS. Yep. Okay. Um, deeds of trust. Um, you say you'll be coming out with deeds of trust for the states. Will you be coming out with those for them to, for the provinces? Can you run that by me again? Sorry, I missed that. Um, you're coming out with deeds of trust. Yes. For the states. Will you be coming out for the provinces? Yes, yeah, it's state or province or territory. So what we're doing is this, uh, just, just, just so everyone's clear, and I've said this before, but it, I know there's a lot to absorb. In the covenant of one heaven, all property is reconveyed. That is that the Roman cult and our friends, the insane Venetian Khazar nobility, have lost all right to claim any property from the divine. They don't represent the divine, they never have, they never will, and they have no right to claim so. So in order to get property down to you, it must be conveyed from the top down into trusts so that you have that available, whether it be a home, a car, uh, and so on. So there's a deed of trust, which is a covenant of one heaven. There's a deed of trust for the globe union, one faith, one Islam, one spirit tribe. There's a, a deed of trust then for the, for the six... Uh, regional unions, America's Union, Asian Union, Arabian Union, America's Union, um, Euro Union and Oceanic Union. And then there is a deed of trust for every single nation within the meets and bounds. And then there is a deed of trust for every single state within those meets and bounds. So that's, that's all being put in place and it's a mammoth job, but it's very close to being ready. And when it is ready, those deeds serve as the basis of establishing with the state community a, lead, uh, a land titles office, uh, a reserve bank, uh, and all the elements you require to basically be autonomous. Okay? Okay. Um, <clears throat> one more question. Are, are any of your calls transcribed? And if so, where? Um, there has been a number of transcriptions done. Um, I would say to you that that is something that we can answer and will answer through university.ukadia.info. I, I can't give you an answer at the moment, but I give you the short answer is when they are transcribed, and for those that have been transcribed, we'll make sure that there is uh, a visible answer for that on, on university.ukadia.info. All right? Okay. 
Okay.